video, we're going to take a look at using NetBeans and its graphic user interface uh, designer to help us make a program that actually is a window instead of just the ugly system out output. And we're going to do things like have buttons and text boxes and different components on it. So here we go. We're going to make a project, but slightly different than what you're used to up to this point. So we're going to go File, New, Java Application. Let's give it a good name. I'm going to call it a Frame Sample. And down here, where we usually say Create the Main Class, we're just going to tick that one off. I don't want anything made. Okay, so just the project name. Click Finish. NetBeans does a little bit of work there. And there's my project. Now it's opened up all the others at the same time. Let's shut that. Okay, And as you can see, our frame sample project has nothing in the package. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, by right clicking there, a new. And I'm not going to add a new class. I'm going to add a JFrame form. Now JFrame is a class that's already been written in Java for you. And basically, it has all the code to act like a window. So I'll well, we'll just show you. Let's do the JFrame form. It wants a name for it. Let's call it a uh, My Frame. Little finish. And right away, you're going to see that the interface is a little different when you're dealing with a frame. You have two views here. You have the source view, which is the code. And you have the design view, which is your window, which you get to drag components onto. So, I mean, just a really quick intro to it would be, I'll go into this section here in our palette called Swing Controls. I'll grab a button, drag it over, and there's J button 1. And I'll grab a text field and drag it over, and there's J text field 1. Notice you can resize them, you can pick them up and move them. Java isn't known for being the best on form design. You know, it looks very gritty, but not bad. It'll be a big step up from using the system out window. Now, that's our frame or our window. I have two components on it, a button and a text field. And now let's go take a look at the code. Now the code, it's written quite a bit. You'll see here it looks small, but... NetBeans has actually generated a lot of code for us. Just to get that button and that text field on the form, it actually had to write all this junk. And that's what's nice about the graphic user interface designer is that it just sort of writes this code for you. For a beginner, that saves you a lot of time, right? You don't want to have to sort of learn this stuff at this point. You just want to get coding. Okay, you can go back and learn that stuff later on. So there's all the code. I'm going to clear out a little bit of this junk here. Now, first thing you're going to notice is the file starts, public class MyFrame, right? That was the name I chose. And it says it extends Java X Swing JFrame. What this extends word means is it means we're going to build on top of an existing class. And so this class already exists, right? When you uh, download and install Java. And so I'm building off of it without you seeing any of that code in here, really. All the code that's actually going to code for the window and all its features is already done. So I'm just going to actually just give it a run and show you. I'll right click and run my frame. We'll actually see this frame in action. It takes a second or two the first time. It's coming. It's coming. And there it is. So there's the window. You'll notice it has things like maximize, minimize, expand, and the buttons work. I can type in the text field. And all that code's been done for us, right, in this menu here. So by extending the J frame, you've grabbed all that code. You don't have to write it. Now we just build on top of it and basically make our program using the JFrame code. So as we continue on here, I'm just going to go back to design view. Before we talk about the code, what I'd like to do is I'd like to rename these components nice names. Okay. So I'm just going to rename this button and re-show what it shows here. 
Now there's two ways to do this. To rename the button, you can either go right click, properties, and you get the properties windows pops up, and you'll see there's several tabs here. To actually rename the button, you go to the code tab, and one of the first slots is called variable name. This is the name of the button, and I like to just name it. I'll call it button stuff, because this button's going to do some stuff. Okay. Notice the naming convention. It's nice if you include what the name of the component is, right? Let's the programmer reading the code understand that it's a button. And then when you start the new word, use a capital letter. It's like capital letter S, right, for stuff. To change what the button shows the user, that's here in the properties tab, and it's the text property. So I can change this here, and I'm going to say do some stuff. Okay, and then the button shows that. If I want, I can even make the fonts a little bigger at this point. If you're getting old and your eyesight's getting worse, I'll make that a font 14 bold. And then I've modified my button. And I'll just give a little more room here. And so there's my program. Doing the same thing with the text field, I can go right click, properties. In the properties here, I can take the text. I can just clear it out so it shows nothing. Go to the code tab and change it to text stuff. So I've got button stuff and text stuff. Okay, little enter, close, and you can see now my components are named nicely. Um, another place we could have done this was over here. You should have a properties window floating around. And if the properties window is floating around, you'll see here that as you switch components, the button, properties, right? you'll see that you get the exact same things. Code, properties, and a whole big list, right, of things you can change. So you can either right click or use the menu. Now, we got the stuff named, we got them on the form. You know you can run it, it runs fine. Now what are you actually gonna do with this stuff? That's the next video. We'll actually use these components in our program. Thanks for watching this part one.